Hello everyone and welcome to the Onward VR Master League Season 12 week number 8 I am your host Nomad and here I am today to here present to you this EU matchup between Friendly Fire and Varak uh, Looks like we are just moments away from uh, start up the match here We're just waiting on one more member of Friendly Fire here And we should be underway But in the meantime, let's take a look at what their picks and bands are as you can probably see on the screen there, you probably know what map number one is going to be. But you don't know what the bands are going to be. Well, in fact, it's going to be Paradise for Friendly Fire and Hook for Rack. So right there, that's already two out of the three custom maps banned out of the way, gone forever. Not going to be used today. And map number one, as you probably guessed, is Bizarre. I'm just gonna go ahead and let the teams know that at least I'm good to go. And we should be underway. Now, for those who may not already know, this is my first ever live official cast here for the VRML. So if there's something off of my audio, please let me know in the chat. Uh, just be aware that we are indeed on a six minute delay. So I will not be able to respond immediately. But I'll do my best to respond nonetheless. A little bit of backdrop information on these two teams here. Friendly Fire. This is their second season so far. They started in season 11. And they had a pretty good run there for a new team. Whereas Rack, this isn't their second season. This is their second game ever. So be interesting to see how they perform. Now they did pretty good in their first match. They had a challenge match on Sunday against Demios where they won it 12 to three. So they do know how to put points on the board. I guess they're at a countdown there. So uh, full start. It'll be interesting to see how these two teams go at it with one another. And I was looking at the predictions earlier and it looks like it's a pretty heavily favored side for Friendly Fire, the experienced team between the two. While we're still waiting, I guess, I can at least introduce you to at least nine of the 10 players that'll be playing today so far. Oh, here comes the 10. So, Let's get right into it. For Friendly Fire, we have got Cam Street, Miss A Lot, Ollie Head 78, Mr. Trip, and Care Watashima. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. If I did, I apologize. Then on the rack side, we have got La Chevronair, uh, Oliver Frey, Hardzy, Blim, and Emperor. Now, if I did pronounce this wrong, I apologize. Obviously, my French teacher was right. I cannot speak French. <laughs> so, we have all 10 in the lobby here. We have our objective, which is the West Market objective, or sometimes known as the Mini Market objective. Looks like they might still be doing it the last minute strats here. They still have a little bit of time before they actually have to start the match. But I bet you if I threaten an intermission, they'll start right away. Or they'll just make me look like, oh, <laughs> there we go. Like I said, you just, as a caster, you just have to threaten that there's gonna be an intermission. Good. Alright, right, so Marsh will get the tank 
So far, some meta spots. I'm gonna Emperor up in the northwest second floor. All for Frey with the pallets. Lem's gonna be at the objective building. Artsy is gonna be in uh, the market self building. And Shepner is going to be at the market itself. And it looks like we got the first few shots come from Emperor onto Care in the northeast corner, but he's got Camp Street there to back him up. Ah! And it'll be Camp Street that gets the down. Tango on R5. R5, Tango. But he's only down, he's not fully dead, so he can still make calls as you heard oh, there. Uh, just as I say that, there is to confirm. All he had in Kiot. Looking for any far out defenders, along with Miss a lot, cutting through the market. Where is the captain? Where is Mr. Trip? Well, he's at the cross street, making his way south. And this is a fairly tight defense, which is to be expected. You don't want to venture too far away on this objective. Uh, I like the, the line that Hardy's holding. I can't find his name on there. He's holding this tight angle here between the pillars, across the red truck. A nice tight angle. Sometimes difficult to spot as the attacker as you pass through. Looks like you miss a lot. Reaping along here. Pushing a little bit further ahead than the rest of the team, but she's taking her time there, so allow her teammates to catch up. Oh. Here, might just find Oliver here through the pallets. Now, you can't really see him all that well. This is what the players see. A little tough to see. <laughs> Care will find the down. Nice one on the pallets on the north wall. That makes it a 5v3 now in favor of friendly fire. Arzi must have hurt and missed a lot here. As the attention now moves north. But all he had with a nice pick there. Making it a 5v2. And a quick refrag onto Ali Head from Shabanur in the West Market. Care. Already in the north side of the market. Well, might bump into Flem here. Well, Care's gonna find the other one. It's all down to one now. The objective. This is a tough one to defend as a last man up because there's three different spots you can cap from. He needs to be rotating around here. The defense has failed. If if he can somehow pull off a 1v4 clutch, that'd be amazing. But in a situation like this, you almost gotta run out and die. Give them the one point as opposed to the two points that they could get from a cap. Here comes the smoke. The cap should be coming in shortly. Cam Street's oh, wow. gonna find the final Only pick. Friendly fire. There's the first point. Nice job from Friendly Fire there to, to realize what's going on in the situation there. They had a pretty good idea as to where all the defenders were. And they just kind of swarmed in slowly all at once, which is a pretty typical strat played by nearly every EU team. They're more they're known for their slow tactical pushes. Whereas of course North America, they're more blunted hard pushing get it over and done with aggressive attacks now round number two here so for those who are unaware of how onwards played obviously you can see this is a 5v5 sort of like a, a search and destroyer like game and here the objective you see here is played on two different rounds. So each 
time a team either attacks or defends. So after those two rounds end, that objective, this uplink, this satellite, is going to spawn somewhere else randomly on this map. And it's going to keep on going until eventually one team's going to get four points. Once they get four points, they win the map. And this is a best of three maps match. So, and of course, whoever gets two maps wins. Shuffle. Le code. And that right. has a lot to do with MMR. But Par contre, j'ai dû traverser là. 701, 57, 48. 701, 57, 48. Il va falloir essayer de traverser là. C'est chaud. Where... You could actually win two maps. Win the map. On les laisse avancer. But you could actually be losing in points. You could have. You could be down. What the heck is. Technical difficulty there, sorry. Let's see how friendly fire defends this. It's a little different, but. Still somewhat the same. Pretty tight. Mr. Okay, go trip. <laughs> Obviously having a very good Blow time. Me. Are you having a good time, Mr. Trip? What? Let me bring some suppressive fire, trying to grab the attention of Camp Street. We do have Jabonier and Emperor at apartments. Here comes some smoke. I don't hear Trying to blind Mr. Trip. in the west part of the room. Camp Street gets a tag on Emperor. Mr. Trip will find Fleme from the south there, making it a, a 5v4 in favor of With that pick there, sorry, it makes it a 4 and a half v 5 or 4. I got one with it. The... I apologize, guys. I'm having a little issue with some hotkeys here for that. It's a trip to get a kill on Nate there. What did you say, Ali? We are a I got two. Four I got v three two. now. It's not only head. I'm gonna deal with Oliver here. North wall. Ollie's in a good spot. There's a nice powerful spot to be in. And a trade's gonna come out from Mr. Trip. No shiver. I think he's only down. He's in the Here goes the revive. Yep, again. Pop it off shots there. Only down, it's down to a 4v2 in favor of friendly fire here. There was one far back in North Oliver and Hardsy. Hardsy in a nice spot here on top of the stairs. Get a nice angle here. You can cover the rotation that Ollie had we might have to make from the north if they have to crash. He's gonna have to deal with it, miss a lot. Doesn't know. That miss lots there, yo. Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, my bad, guys. My bad. Bang. Didn't quite get him. Okay, I somehow traded Echo one. All down to Oliver now. All down to the captain. And a one B three and a half. Go. 
let's revive oh, onto Ollie. Obviously, Mr. Trip was not aware of Ollie getting some information shots, and there is a first pick that Ollie needed or over needed. Making now a 1v3. Next kill is gonna have to be on to miss a lot. Ollie is going for a rotation here. Most likely going back to objective. Now we got 45 seconds left. Oliver needs to make a move now. Either has to kill all three members of Friendly Fire or get the cap. 30 second Bieber should go off in his head now. Kill time here. Oliver had to use a needle to heal himself. We'll run into miss a lot. Nice little pick. Four seconds left. He's gonna make a move. But unfortunately, we'll run out of time. good there for a little while. So unfortunately they kind of overexposed themselves. There wasn't enough smoke on the south street to cover the cross and so they were left a little bit open for the picks and just one by one eventually it made it that much more difficult for them to attack but obviously all of there determined to fight it out try and kill them all. Unfortunately with the EU style of play they take it slow, and sometimes they run out of time. What? This is only their second match. They're still learning, and with this match being casted, they got something to reflect on and to review. As long as I don't leave the overlay on. Now, like I said before, we play two rounds of one objective, and then it rotates to somewhere else. This place there it went to is the East Market now. From the West Market to the East Market. This one can be a little spicy. If Marsoc gets the quick spawn, which is close to where West Market was, on the street next to it, there can be some pretty aggressive plays made. Round number three. I use my stock on this one when I'm prawning. <laughs> Let's see how Rack sets up their defense for this one. Watching the North Street. We have got Lemay covering the South. Governor on objective. Hardsy. Up in Kiot. Might run into a trip here. And all hit. It's going to be double team onto Hardsy. How did you get that? Wow. Nice one. But not quite enough to get Oliver. minus one. Now the question is. Right, let's echo four key on this trip, probably four. Nice. We have got replays. Now. Only head. Yeah, if you're in the mind. Now Kiot's cleared. That's an important ability to clear in this objective because they can have full control over the, the market and they can cover the cross. On my way, give me that 20 seconds. And as you heard there, that was 
believe that was Mr. Trip calling out on the radio. There's a feature in this game where as long as the caster's camera is near a power line, you can hear the player's radio callouts. The players themselves on the other team cannot hear them, but we get a little sneak peek. Oliver sh might not be hearing this. He's got two players about to bear down on him. Meanwhile, we got Cam Street only out all ahead here. Let's take this one as well. <laughs> Raiding Hardsy's body. I gotta use what's available. Double tap again if you're in position. Alright, give us give us twenty seconds. Folks comes in. A little far. All the way onto the East Street. Actually do a bit of pre fire by Shabanir. Find someone. Ham Street. Moving towards North Street here. Might bump into Emperor. They don't quite have the angle. The barrels are just in the way of his line of fire. Why does it keep doing that? Care is in a nice spot. I won't be able to find anyone yet. I might find Oliver here. Yeah, Oliver's holding a nice angle to counter care. Miss a lot. Good counter of the quick peek. There goes the trade. Oh. Good, that's a lot. Oh. Nice pick. What in orange? Didn't quite get the confirmation in time to prevent that call out. But in the end, it's now a Three and a half V1 in favor of Brack. Let's see what Ollie Head does. Wasn't quite able to get the pick. Well, that was the player. <laughs> Sometimes you'll see a little pixel on your screen as a player. You'll think it's nothing until they start shooting back at you. <laughs> and all doubts are erased. Good defense, even though it's tight like they were playing before, they're holding good angles. Uh, oh, what happened here? Stand by, folks. some technical difficulty here we'll have to uh, 
quickly reset. Hopefully we don't uh, miss out on any of the, the gameplay. We'll get back in as soon as possible. 